measure the output. Output means all the liquids wash the body, the person getting out from the body. And most of the time in a nursing, we measure the urine, okay? For the state exam is one of the state exam tests. And sometimes they put it water, not urine for you in a bedpan. And they ask you to put the urine from the bedpan inside the measured container. How you do, you get the measured container and you kind of put it a piece of tissue under the measured container because you, when you empty the bedpan, you might have some a drop of the urine in here, you don't want. After you are done, for the board exam, they, they don't do that. Most of the time, they have a, a container with the liquid in it and they ask you to do the output. And how you do, do not forget to say, I wash my hands and put the gloves on. The critical for the uh, measuring the output is to have the measured container or the graduate cylinder. Graduate, it means you can see the numbers on the flat surface. And you read at the eye level. That means you have to bend the knee even if you don't want to. It's on a flat surface. Now I'm going to bend the knee right side cc's or milliliter you have 50 100 150 200 250 300 and further between these numbers there is a little line in here okay and that line is 25 250 if you have here is 250 plus 25 275 after that 25 more is 300 after that in here is 300 plus 25 325 350 375 400 and so on if it's between them like this one in here you even round the 200 or 225 this is a measured container or graduate cylinders because the graduate means they have numbers and uh, we look on the cc's on the side but if i ask you how many cc's you have in here you are going to tell me 350 if i ask you how many milliliter is the same number 350 one cc is one milliliter the same thing